Well, hello, hello, my baby gorillas, and what have we got today? Oh my goodness, what is going on with this? The new recriminations with the Alex Salmon trial. Oh, it's unbelievable. There's an open rebellion in the SNP. Open rebellion, uh, the Common Wheel, which is a far left uh, internal party uh, within the party. Um, there is a uh, female activist upset about the transvestite or transgender or tra trans inclusion into female only spaces that Nicola Sturgeon's trying to drive through. She's trying to allow uh, people to uh, identify with wh whoever she wants. And we've also got the, uh, the, the, the ability for Alex Salmon to come back into the, the SNP and challenge Nicola Sturgeon at uh, the next leadership elections. So and there's a, a growing mounting of uh, people uh, supporting the return of Alex Salmon. Not, there are not many, many uh, political heavy hitters in the SNP. Uh, and uh, Alex Salmon is obviously somebody with political gravitas. He led the country uh, competently, which is more than can be said for Nicola Sturgeon, who's not been competent over the last period of time. Uh, some uh, ter terrible things have happened under Nicola Sturgeon. So, Alex Salmon back in the SNP, back to frontline politics, and about to take on Nicola Sturgeon. Her husband has now been in front of the panel. The, uh, the committee on, I think, Murdo Fraser's chairing it. And uh, Nat King, uh, Cole Hamilton, is now getting uh, her husband to come back because her husband, her husband uh, gave contradictory evidence to the committee about what the meetings that had actually transpired with Alex Hammond about these allegations. So these are these allegations are um, uh, have all been thrown out, but uh, uh, he couldn't remember. Mr. Morell couldn't remember the meetings. That was convenient, isn't it? Oh, I can't remember what's going on. Uh, I can't remember the the former first minister of Scotland has been uh, been incriminated uh, with uh, sexual allegations, but I can't remember if I was there or not. Off and he's been called back again because it seemed to be lies. The obviously the political heavyweights watch the Gorilla TV channel. They see what I do. They see what I say, and then they reiterate it. Ruth Davison watches that. We know Ruthie Baby watches the Gorilla TV channel. She's been hammering away at Nicola Sturgeon just now. Hammering away. Excuse me, my long hair. And they're. Uh, they're getting absolutely smashed. Smashed just now, Nicola Sturgeon. She's going to have to resign. I've already said this. She will have to resign. Somebody's lying. Is her husband that's lying? He's going to have to get thrown under the bus. Is uh, John Sweeney going to get thrown under the bus because he'll get a vote of no confidence for not providing the legal documentation to Parliament? So his, uh, his vote of no confidence, he's finished. He's finished with that. And now we've got... Nicola Sturgeon, so Nicola Sturgeon's husband is now contradicting himself in Parliament in front of the committee. Murdo Fraser saying, hey, do you think the public are stupid? No, we're not stupid. We can obviously all see right through this. I've voted for Nicola Sturgeon. Now. I'm quite happy to say that, but um, that was probably my mistake because she's not been very good in her role. And I've been uh, very, very disappointed. So, uh, and with the SNP generally, this disgusting hate speech bill. With Humza Useless. So, thousands of people have left now. They've all joined the Scottish Libertarian Party because it's seen as a, a Scottish Libertarian Party. So, Alex Salmon's back. Uh, he'll reapply to join the party and then stand again as leader of the party. So we'll have Alex Salmon back in frontline politics, which will be absolutely incredible. And uh, Lazarus, he'll be getting called because of his resurrections in, in Scottish politics. And he will have taken out wee nippy. It's quite an incredible situation that, uh, that this is actually coming to pass. She'll have to resign. Who, who's lying here? Is it her husband? Is it her? Either or. Somebody's, somebody's going... 
Somebody's for the high jump. Sweeney's definitely going to go for um, filibustering and, and obstructing, not filibustering, even obstructing Parliament by not giving the legal documentation to Parliament. They cannot um, prevent the Parliament from actually seeing what is actually happening within the the overall uh, situation um, and the overall uh, tenancy of the, the the underlying legal documentation. This is half a million pounds of your taxpayers' money that's disappeared. And Nicola Sturgeon's husband seen to had to be recalled to clarify what uh, the meetings that had actually taken place with Alex Salmon with regards to these allegations a way back um, a, number, a number of years ago. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's finished. They're absolutely finished now. So is it Alex Salmon? So is Alex Salmon's husband going to have to resign from the SNP as the chairman? He's been there for a long time. Or is it Nicola Sturgeon who's going to have to resign? Who's lying? I know where I think. I think Nicola Sturgeon's lying. I think Nicola Sturgeon's telling big porky pies. I think Nicola Sturgeon was potentially involved in the setting up, the fitting up of Alex Salmon with these uh, sexual innuendo allegations. And Alex Salmon is going to wreak his revenge by revenge by coming back into the, the SNP, being readmitted, and then taking on Nicola Sturgeon. Quite an incredible situation, isn't it? It's absolutely unbelievable. How long can she survive for now? Husband contradicting Nicola, the First Minister's. So, I mean, they can't even get the story straight and live together, allegedly, her husband. So, he's coming back in. He's, uh, he's embarrassed himself. He's embarrassed the First Minister. It's very difficult to maintain this lie. And uh, that's her for, for the, the, the political high jump. How can, she, how can they continue to lie? Do they think they're who do who do they think they're who's believing them just now? It's one lie upon another. It's like a child uh, telling wee lies to try and catch themselves out. I mean, she's a lawyer for goodness' sake, and she's telling all these lies as if the the, the populace. I mean, you can lie to some of the people all the time, and all to the people some of the time. You can't lie to all of the people all of the time. You can't just keep lying like Joe Biden. Oh my goodness, Hunter Biden uh, uh, is in, uh, uh, has uh, now been, I think he's got charges against him for uh, money laundering. The Texas and I think up to 19 other states are now trying to sue, sue the four states. So it's actually parts of, it's not all of the states, it's just parts of the states that are, um, that have, allowed this gerrymandering of the, the, the political system in America. Boxes being pulled out. I mean, you, you, even if you did a recount, the boxes had already been pulled out and counted after everybody had been sent home. So even in a recount, that's not going to be affected because you're, the, 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 the votes have been added to electoral machines, which you shouldn't have anyway. It should all be done paper ballot. And the, but the, it wouldn't even matter if it was a paper ballot because the other observers had all been kicked out and boxes came out from out of the blue. So even a recount, even an audit, the, 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 the actual underlying ballots have been added to the count. Just like Nicola, so the globalists are allowing, I mean, I remember uh, Donald Trump up in uh, sexual allegation charges. So this is obviously what the globalists do because we Nippy is a globalist shill. The globalists obviously use sexual allegations, sexual assault allegations, sexual allegations, A, to discredit the individual, and B, to actually uh, destroy their uh, reputation, which will be even more interesting when Alex Salmond comes back into the SNP and stands against Nicola Sturgeon for the leadership of the SNP. Could come back and stand as, a, as an MP at uh, an MSP. Get back in and then take on Nicola Sturgeon over the now false sexual allegation charges. But we now know that um, sexual allegation charges are used by the, the political class to discredit both politicians and individuals who may be a threat to the globalist agenda. Guys, you heard it here first. We'll be very interested to know 
if the Supreme Court can do the right thing, I know there's legislative requirements, but um, with these states and the, the talk of secession, um, it's very damaging. The, the court should um, get a recount in the required areas. It's not the full state that requires um, recounts, uh, or re-votes, should I say, and the re-votes should be supervised not with federal agents as well as uh, local um, uh, officers, police officers, and also uh, press, so that the, there should be a recount within these principalities and very, very strictly controlled ballot recount, not using um, systems, um, uh, voting systems, electronic voting systems. This should be this should be done. It should be done in a much more transparent. I have to say, the Scottish elections are done very, very well. Um, but we've still got the possibility of corruption through voto, voting ballots. But I've never seen ballots being pulled out from under a, a chairs before. I mean, that's just absolutely unbelievable. They all went for Joe Biden, over 90%. That's like the Wehrmacher Wehrmacher Republic in Nazi Germany. Guys, love my baby gorillas, love you guys.